My name is Matt Schwartz, and I'm uh, one of the co-founders of the Hockey Players Club. Also, trained hockey players for Quest Hockey. Shout out to anybody that's uh, joining us who works with Brandon and myself here in Pittsburgh with Quest Hockey. I uh, hope everyone's safe, doing well. I'm in our brand new shooting room that we just uh, put together. It's sweet. Shout out to uh, Hockey Shot Store. We we'll put this up with the synthetic tiles. And uh, figured give enough people a little bit of time. But just so you know what you'll need for this little 20 minute class that we're putting together your stick, preferably an X1X, uh, four hockey pucks, tennis ball, golf ball. Buffalo, live or stuff, preferably stuff for safety's sake. Uh, I'm on my skates on the synthetic ice and I'm using my gloves. You certainly don't need to. Just on a flat, smooth surface is good. You can be on your tennis shoes too. I just like uh, using my stick the length that I usually use on the ice. So that's why I'm rocking the wheels. And gloves just, I'm trying to get as close to game situation as possible. Smooth concrete works, uh, shooting pad works. Way we're gonna go, we'll go through some stationary stuff, pick up, uh, do a little series that I do with my players during lessons, a little McDavid series that I love, and on um, some puck uh, dangles, some Katie dangles that I, I've learned to really appreciate and enjoy. So let's get started. So one thing you'll want to do just to get started is put let's put our hand in the middle of our stick at our wrist going. Right, get those forearms. Try to spin the stick as fast as you can so you hear it. Other, other arm. Cool. So, really important to hold your stick the right way. So, roll a thumb. Let's hold our stick like uh, we just scored a goal. Extend your arm straight out with the bottom hand. One thing that I see a lot of players is that the butt end hangs out. Close the butt end with your, with your top hand. It gives you more range of motion. Extend your hand, elbow to your thumb. Grab your stick there. It's actually closer than most people would think. And now, extending your arms out, let's twist our wrists. So we want to use our wrist joint when we stick handle and not move our arms. We really want to use our wrists when we, when we stick handle. So get that motion down, we're ready to rock and roll. So I say we start with a tennis ball. Tennis ball forces you to roll your wrist when you stick handle because if you don't, it's gonna bounce all over the place. So a saying that we like to say is, uh, spread the peanut butter, don't chop the onions. So use your wrist when you're stick handling a tennis ball in front of you your bottom hand is not gripping the stick very hard, it's loose. Loose so that, you know, the stick can slide through your glove. So we'll just start by nice, smooth, rolling my wrist, hands are a little bit closer together. I'm not even hitting the ground, nice and soft. We'll do this for about 10 more seconds. Rolling our wrist, nice soft grip on the stick, not squeezing the heck out of the stick. When you're doing this, make sure you're bending your knees. Uh, I'm okay with you looking at the ball or the puck while you're doing this. I think it's perfectly fine if you watch guys like Patty Kane or McDavid or Pavel Barber do hockey stick handling training, they're looking at the puck. And then, you know, get the fundamentals down, get the feel down, and then you can start working, gliding on the ice, skating on the ice with your head up. But I'm all right with you looking at it. Let's switch to our golf ball. Same idea. Hands away from our body. Cool. Now we'll get a puck. See how the puck feels. On the front. Pull our wrist. Let's pull our hand. 
the McDavid series that I was talking about. And you'll see if you want to Google or YouTube videos of him warming up uh, for a game. He has a series of stationary stick handling exercises that he does just to get his hands going. And I love doing that with our players. We do it standing still and then we move. So let's just start off by uh, over here. Puck out in front of you, and then pull it to the side. And when you pull it to the side, I want you to think when you're going to shoot. So, front, side.
Good job. Uh, that's where my Dave is, just to catch our stuff. Let's go vertical, 
uh, about a little bit more than a foot apart. And we'll go forehand through the pucks and we'll do a figure eight that way. Really want to slide our bottom hand, roll our wrists, and avoid moving up and then moving back, right? We want to be stationary and use our length of our stick to reach out there instead of moving our entire body. So forehand through, wrist roll, forehand through, over.
Uh, I thought this was a good starting point for uh, Instagram Live for seeing if you guys were interested in these classes, if you enjoyed them, what you thought about them. Uh, just something for us to try. Thought a lot of, uh, saw a lot of guys that we train since then we're ready to go to. We're looking for stuff to do, uh, so this is a good option. So be sure to uh, follow Hockey Players Club on Instagram. If you like videos like this. We make a lot and put them on our YouTube channel, so that's Hockey Players Club YouTube channel. Subscribe to that, and we've got a lot more really good content coming down the pipeline, given our new room and uh, all the opportunities we have now with this space. And uh, be sure to comment on this Instagram live video. It'll show up on our uh, IGTV, so comment what you thought of it. If you'd like to see more videos, tag your buddies. Um, if you want to go back and reference it and do it again, like I said, it'll be on IGTV. Um, thanks to everyone who tuned in and participated. And if you have any questions, DM us or shoot us an email at uh, info at hockeyplayersclub.com. We really enjoy working with hockey players and helping them improve their game and get better um, and sharing our knowledge that we've accumulated over the years of working with players. So DM us or email us if you have any questions. And I uh, really appreciate you guys taking the time to work out with us today. And if you enjoyed it, maybe we'll do another one next week. So thanks and have a great weekend. Stay safe and uh, wash your hands.